10 of the weirdest items that you can possibly buy on Amazon. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is probably the creepiest thing that I have seen for sale. It's actually popped up on my Instagram feed a couple of times. So I'm super, you know, interested to see this product and see what it looks like. It is $13.99 and I got the color pink. The face just looks creepy it looks like it's like a cute little monkey but it's like a square and then its lips move and it eats your quarters if i saw this first thing in the morning like hovering above me just this face i'd probably like <laughs> i'd probably freak out and either like punch the air or pee the bed one of the two it has almost four star reviews which is a lot uh Worth every penny, especially the ones you feed it. Quit working the first time I used it. Rip off, doesn't work at all. It's pretty 50-50, but overall the reviews are pretty good. Okay, it looks smaller than I imagined it would be. The whole face is smaller. It's kind of cute. Like, it's, it's a little bit cute. I feel like we need to name him or her. What should we name it? Let me know in the comment section down below. So it does take batteries. Open this up. Pop some batteries in here. How do I turn this thing on? There is a button in the back and then you just kind of, and I guess it's on. Is it on? What the, what, what, what just happened? It didn't even eat it. Hold on. Attempt number two. It didn't even freaking move. I'm, it, it could be my batteries. Number three. I don't know if I hate this thing and it doesn't work at all. It just like slightly moves or I need new AA batteries. Like my batteries are pretty new relatively. I mean, just look at that effort. Why doesn't he shut his mouth? Temp number 25. All right, next. This thing either sucks or my batteries suck. I, how could you be mad at that face? It's so creepy, it's cute. It's like the CGI for cats. If only the prime delivery person knew what they were delivering to my door, literally a atomic nose trimmer. It's a freaking ray gun. So this is a Fred atomic trimmer, nose and ear hair trimmer, 99 reviews, almost five stars. That is incredible. So this thing must work pretty good. It must zap away all of those nose hairs. It's $19.99, which is kind of expensive considering what it is. One of the reviews says, I bought this for my brother who's follically impressive, could grow a full beard in seventh grade. Seems to work well for him. Give it a try. This is really cute and small. Oh, and you pull the trigger to make it work. Okay, where do the batteries go? Oh my God, look at that. Are you ready? Oh my God, I'm gonna do it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. Clean as a whistle. This is super cool. I really like this. It's pretty well made for like, a gag gift, basically, that's what it is. This is impressive. I think we need to try it out on Jay. All right, Jay's gonna try it. Not bad, not bad. This is a good one. I got one that I spent like seven bucks for at Walmart, I think, and this one seems better. It seems good. Yeah. It doesn't get like caught on the hairs. You know yeah, how sometimes nice. yeah. they can get caught on a hair and like pull? This is a simulated nose full of blackheads. Uh, that you basically pop for stress relief and you don't end up with any of like those horrible scars So this is the spot popper you can get this in like a square of skin or a nose It's $13.98 and this is definitely a weird thing that you can buy on Amazon I am reluctant but excited at the same time to try it out fed up not having enough to squeeze that is disgusting Oh my god, I don't know like Okay, I think everybody's nose is like an endless supply of sebum. So there's always something to squeeze. Let's see if this looks like a nose. Okay, it's like silicone, ew. This is freaking disgusting. Look at that, the color is just so gross. All right, so what we're supposed to do is open this up, use this thing. Oh wow, it's really hard. That's why I have to put it in water. I let this sit in warm water for about two to five minutes. I don't know, the whole squeeze, like look at my pipette, it's like broken. The whole squeezing process of getting this in and out is kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Pimple pus. Ew, 
Ew. Ew. Now we're just gonna go ahead and give it a squeeze. Oh my god. Okay. I can't tell if that's satisfying or freaking disgusting. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this? Look at that. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> It's not that bad. All right, let's try one down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Ew, and then look at the pores. They're like all pushed in. Does that pop back? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't know if I like it. Neutral here. I'm very neutral because like this is something definitely weird. I don't know if I need this in my life, but I don't know if I don't want it in my life either. Like I do feel satisfied. I don't not feel satisfied. Jay's looking at me like I'm so weird. You try it out. Jay hates anything to do with pimples and pores and stuff and like I'm not allowed to watch Pimple Popper if he's around. Dr. Pimple Popper on TLC. I like that show. <laughs> I'm kind of neutral on this. Let's check out the reviews on this product and see what other people have to say about it. Great gag gift, everyone laughed, white elephant, funny. Gave it as a gift to my sister-in-law who loves pimple popping videos. It's gross but fills her satisfaction. That's kind of how I feel. It's just like, it's gross but it still gives you like that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop cringing, stop. Let's move on to the next product. This is an umbrella hat. I think I wanted this for my entire life. Like in school when I was a kid, I used to always wish I just had a hat that was an umbrella. And now they make them. And I have one. And I'm so excited to test this out. This has four stars. People seem to like it. It does look kind of goofy on the model. It's $11.99, which is a little bit cheaper than the average umbrella. I feel like the average umbrella is at least like $15. So like literally you can be hands free. You don't have to worry about being courteous to others because literally it's just on you. You know, it's like, oh, wonderful product, great quality, works well for sun and rain. I wouldn't wear this for sun. You would look like a weirdo. Oh, I pulled this string. Does this count as bad luck? No, because it's an umbrella hat. What in the freaking world? Why would you want it to catch water? I would catch water on your head. It's definitely not popped. What? Uh, it's not popped all the way. <laughs> I think I have it on wrong. Yeah, you do. What? It's on wrong. You know doomsday is coming. I need to collect all the water that I can possibly collect, right? Living in Florida, this might actually come in handy. I think the chin strap is a little cheap. Like, I have to literally tie it on my face. Should we test this out in the shower? Yes, let's go. I noticed that when I was walking, it kind of would like fly forward, so I really had to tie it tight on my chin. I think that's like, the, the chin strap is something that they could work on. It could be like a better quality. I'm just gonna shoot the water straight up and see if this deflects it from getting on me. Freaking works, you know? The design is not that practical. It like, you know, just, it could be improved, but the general concept is there and I like it. This is the pooch selfie. I guess this was an item on Shark Tank. This is $9.99 and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to hook onto your phone and it's supposed to allow you to take a cute selfie with your dog with him looking straight at the camera because dogs are obsessed with balls. And some of them depending on your dog's personality. So this literally has four stars and 758 reviews, which is a lot. There are a lot of cute pictures of people with their dogs. This this might be a good way to get a selfie with your dog. So I'm just gonna open it up. All right, so this is what it looks like. Let's test it out. One of my four dogs. Who wants to test it out? Guppy, come here. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to get a selfie with Guppy. Guppy, look, can you see it? Do you like that? He's like, he cares more about me than the ball. Look, hey. He doesn't know what it is. Oh boy, look at the ball. He's not looking at the ball. Guppy, Franklin's looking at the ball. It's not working for the individual dog. Like, he doesn't register this as a ball. This dog loves balls, so. I don't know, the selfies came out cute though, but I don't think that this really helped at all. At least it comes with the ball though. Here Guppy, thank you. You can go now. 
Next weird Amazon item we are going to be testing out is the best garlic roller. So this is a mini garlic crusher and you basically run it on the table with your hand and it crushes your garlic up perfect. I know for me, cutting garlic is a huge pain in my butt and it's a, it's a waste of my time. So if this little thing actually works, I'm super excited. It has three and a half stars, 21 reviews, and it's $9.99. $9.99 is a little expensive for this. I feel like it should be cheaper. As it rolls, the blades move. Okay, excuse my really gross piece of garlic. All right, I'm just gonna put this in there. Shut it. Oh my God, if this works, I'm gonna be super excited. Okay, so far a little chunk came out. I didn't know it was supposed to come out. Oh my gosh, it's working. Wow. That's super cool. It actually worked. Look at all that chopped garlic. There's a lot. How do you How would you get it all out? Does it maybe it opens Oh, this opens up too. So you can clean it. Oh my god, the blade just like flew out. Wow, so then I guess you just kind of, you know, remove all of your garlic. It's a pretty cool idea. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, it smells great in here now. And you can wash the blades, so that's nice. I probably will be using this in the future. The only issue with that is I'm not the best with cleaning up after myself, and I feel like you definitely could make this thing pretty nasty if you don't open up that and clean it right away. I'm just gonna casually rub it all over my hands to make my hands really smell like garlic. Because we're testing out another weird kitchen gadget that uh, this is what it is. And this is a stainless steel bar of soap. It's supposed to remove odors and you just rub it away, basically. It's weird, I don't get the concept. That's probably because I don't know anything about steel and, and onions and garlic. This has over 2,800 reviews and it's almost a five star product. So I'm assuming that this definitely works. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to rub this between your hands for 30 seconds like traditional soap. It never needs to be replaced and it removes unwanted odors from chopping foods like garlic and onions. It's not magic, it's science. The rub away bar is made from a lightweight stainless steel. The molecules in the steel bind to the sulfur molecules on your hands, transferring the molecules along with the smell to the metal and off your hands. So we're gonna have one stinky metal bar of soap. All right, well, my hands do stink, so let's go try this out. Let's get a smell test in my hands. Smell my hands. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I think garlic smells good. Let's go test this out with some water. It feels like I'm washing my hands with soap. All right, 30 seconds. Let's smell my hands. Science! Oh my god, it worked. My hands smell completely normal. That's, and this still smells normal. This is cool, this is super cool, and it's only $7.99. Next product. I don't know about you guys, but every time I garden in my garden, I love to plant flowers and plants and fruit trees. I like to do that stuff. I get dirt under my nails and it's so disgusting, but I also like, I just like to use my hands, you know? I like to use my hands, all right? There's a product called the Garden Genie Gloves with fingertips. They're basically claw gloves so you can dig around in the dirt and not ruin your nails. These are only $7.79. Kind of a weird number, it's all right. 779 is pretty cheap, and I was pretty excited when I found these because I know I'm gonna use them. At least, we have to try them out, right? Four solid stars, 283 reviews. What do we have in here? This also would be fantastic for ASMR. You might see a video on my ASMR channel coming out with these. So, I don't know, how do I test this out? I'm supposed to be able to dig nicely with these. Do they come off? Like, can I pull it off? All right, I'm gonna pretend to dig some dirt right now. Oh my God, look at the flower. It looks great. These might become an obsession for me. I might have to take these off now and just, <laughs> these are so cool. I really like these, 10 out of 10, I know I'll use these. The next really weird Amazon item we're gonna test out is this Harry 
bikini. This basically looks like you have a man bod and a full chest of hair. This is a four star product with 228 reviews. People must really like this stuff. I hope this isn't a fetish. All right, so there's pads in the actual swimsuit, which is nice. Embrace yourself, it's happening. What do you guys think? Does it look good? <laughs> Dang, son. All right, well, this is what you get. Check that out. It's like a hairy, it's like a hairy butt. Um, it fits pretty good. You might catch me wearing this to the beach one day. A lot of people are gonna have to do a lot of double takes. It might make me laugh. Since we're wearing this bikini, let's move on to the next item. Have you ever wanted to watch your iPad or even maybe your computer? Definitely your phone. I don't know, phones are waterproof now so you don't have to worry about getting them wet. But other items like tablets and stuff that are not waterproof, you can watch them while you're in the shower. So this is a pocket shower curtain liner. Hold your iPad, your iPhone, tablet, baby monitor, waterproof, and it's pretty cool. It's 1696. It has four stars and 264 reviews. So this is what it looks like. It has a bunch of different size pockets. It honestly feels just like a piece of like <laughs> plastic. It doesn't feel good. This looks terrible. You think it looks bad? Yeah, it doesn't look good. They're Why do you think it has so many reviews? Our shower curtain is now up. It looks a little bit weird, not gonna lie, but it's functional. So I'm gonna put my phone inside the pouch, walk in. See, that's cool because you're hands free while you're taking a shower. So you can be like, and watching your favorite videos, watching my YouTube channel. You can even probably subscribe while you're in the shower to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications. Then I said I like it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this product review. If you did, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and comment. I love applesauce in the comment section down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!